GPT 3.5 it just became available for fine tuning and it's crazy like I've used it this morning to fine tune a few of my models and I mean what can I say there's a huge step up in quality and in this video I would like to show you how you too can fine tune your own GPT 3.5 fine tune models without writing a single line of code as a demonstration which is the model that I was fine tuning today so basically I just give the AI model like three items that my e-commerce customer put in the cart in this case keyboard campitent ukulele and the model suggests a fourth item for them to also add in the cart as well as the reasoning right now with 3.5 we also got this system sprout right because now we're fine-tuning essentially a chat based model right and the system prompt kind of acts kind of we allows us to steer the fine-tuned model in a certain way so for example if i tell the my fine-tuned model that wait you're actually a comedian and you're kind of making these sarcastic suggestions well let's see what we got here like a squirrel custom right i mean that's great right this opens up doors for so much flexibility uh going forward with our fine-tuned models okay so the way i created this fine-tuned model is i've used this database that i created a while back so here i have like 100 examples basically you know of what i want the model to do and so here i have the shopping cart suggestion right and reasoning so this is the input and this is the output I'll leave this link in the description below so you can also download this data set and play with it. Okay, so let's just download this as CSV. We'll be using this for fine-tuning our AI models and we'll be using entrypointai.com. It's a platform for fine-tuning our AI models without writing a single line of code. We're just going to open the app, log in real quick and create a blank project, right? So first thing that we have to do is import the CSV. There we go. And now we have to map the fields, right? So the fields are basically columns in, you know, the sheet. So shopping cart, well, that's the prompt. And these two are completion, right? That's the important thing to do. For validation, we can assign some examples for validation. This is for when, let's say you send uh, 20 examples with your fine-tuned model, where for fine-tuning, you will get back like a uh, rating how well the model performs, just like that, right? Okay, so the examples have been uploaded. I'm just going to add a new line between suggestion item and reasoning. Much like that just to kind of keep things tidy there we go these are all my examples now now if i want more i have 101 if i want to add more i can just add more um other examples and click plus of course right or i can just go on the synthesis um let's say i want to generate 12 in a batch size of three and this is going to create synthetic examples uh, for me which i can then edit and also add to my database just to kind of wait for quickly expanding my data set right so let's wait here for a moment there we go this is the problem. This is the completion. And I can just go here, press add, do any edits. And just like that, you can add stuff. Once I'm happy with the number of examples I have, I'm going to go under fine tunes, click plus, and select GPT 3.5 Turbo. Currently, the only advanced parameter that I can tweak is number of epochs. I think this will change uh, quite soon. So. And that's the cost, and that's the time estimate that it's going to take for fine tuning this model. Okay, let's press start, and let's wait a few minutes. I already created this model. Uh, two hours ago this is how it's going to look like when it's finished right here's the model name that the open ai assigns this is the name that entry point assigns you can see some details here and uh, then you can basically copy this part and just use it in your in the playground in uh, google sheets in zapier in your code or wherever you want to use your yeah model for example so here in the platform i can just select it under fine tones right here right that's what i've been using previously uh and with google sheets like you can just create a custom function and then call your model like that. So I'm currently using a different model to categorize these search terms over here, but yeah, works just like that. If you want to know how to do this, so how to integrate your custom fine model into Google Sheets, just let me know in the comments below. If there's interest, I can create a guide on this as well. It's pretty easy to do. That's pretty much it. You know, that's how you find on your own custom AI model. Extremely, extremely simple. You just prepare a database, um, database of examples in Google Sheets, you download that, import into EntryPoint. EntryPoint kind of helps you with all the project management stuff, with all of the, the synthesis stuff and, and so on. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. You can try EntryPoint for free on entrypointai.com. And take care. Bye.